Howdy guys, Cub here. Welcome back to Hermitcraft. Last time we made this giant hole in Concorp after we fought a charged creeper and we also got a mob head out of it. We also opened up the skeleton horse shop with Grian and with Scar and we're gonna open up a couple of more shops this week. In fact, this is the very beginning of what I'm calling shop week for us here on Hermitcraft where we'll be opening up a new shop every episode. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Getting Concorp rolling here basically. And yeah, this was sort of the plan all along when we started Concorp. We're going to get some new shops up and going and provide some vital services to the server that are desperately needed. So let's go ahead and we'll finish up filling in this hole here. Quite a large hole here, actually, that <laughs> that happened when the, the charge creeper exploded. But we'll fill, fill up this hole here and then I'll explain to you guys what we're going to be doing here at Concorp. So the hole made by the charge creeper has now been filled in and grass has regrown over it. I also went ahead and lit up the area a little bit better with some more torches, uh, which we're going to have to redo eventually, but for now I think it's fine. Anyways, it's time for me to now fill you guys in on what we're going to be building, what shop we're going to be building. And that shop is going to be a bricklayer shop. So we're going to be selling bricks. And the reason we're using bricks uh, for the shop is because, number one, I think a lot of hermits like the brick texture now. Uh, it's a little bit different than it was previously. Uh, so, yeah, people are more likely to use it in builds, especially in the industrial area. There's been actually really high demand for brick this season. And also, we have this smelter, and we want to take advantage of it. So this thing is super fast. It can smelt 36 stacks in, uh, like, two minutes, I think. Uh, or actually less than two minutes, like 80 seconds. So since we have a fast smelter, we can easily smelt up uh, any materials, any smeltable materials, uh super quickly. And by the way, I've had some people asking if I'm going to be selling a season pass to this smelter. Absolutely not, guys. No way I am selling any season pass to anybody <laughs> for the smelter. Uh, instead, we're going to be making shops uh, with um, yeah, with items that we can, uh, we can smelt up. So the brick shop is the first of those shops. So if we take a look in our recipe book, if we look up bricks, there's a couple different bricks. So here are the, all the different types of bricks. I'm thinking in the bricklayer shop we're going to be selling nether bricks because those are difficult to get unless you smelt up netherrack, which takes a long time, uh, which means that this smelter can provide a pretty big advantage over, you know, traditional smelters. Uh, let's see, if we take another look here, get into the bricks again. There we go. Uh, red nether bricks, same deal. You have to smelt up uh, netherrack to get the, the actual brick, and then you also need nether wart. Bricks, same thing. You have to mine clay, which people don't like to do, and yeah, you also have to smelt up all the clay balls. And then the other one I think we'll probably sell is endstone bricks, because you have to go to the end, and mining endstone can take a little bit of time, so that would also probably be somewhat profitable, I imagine. The stone bricks, the mossy stone bricks, and the chisel stone bricks, I think people can pretty much manage those on their own, because they get a lot of stone, but the other four, I think, are what we're going to sell in the bricklayer shop. So, uh, what that will mean is we need to, first of all, get some materials to smelt up. Luckily, I have some leftover clay. So we got one, two, three shulker boxes full of clay that we can smelt up. Nether rack, I don't think I have too much of that. Eh, I got a little bit, but not a whole lot. So we'll have to go and grab some more nether rack. Uh, in the meantime, though, I'm just going to hop on over here and put this stuff into the smelter just so we'll have it to smelt up a little bit later on. But that is the plan, guys. That is the plan for the brick layer shop. Let me go ahead and just pop these right over here so we have them ready to go when we need them. And we're going to throw them into the smelter. So, first things first, let's go ahead and collect some materials for this shop. Um, and, yeah, we'll also have to make the shop, too. So let me grab some shulker boxes. We're going to head to the nether, and we're going to mine some nether racks. So... Let's go ahead and get out there and get mining. All right, guys, so we went ahead and we came out here to where the mining desert and mining mesa portal is. Uh, I'm going to have to take down this ghast here, so let's just do that real quick. Unfortunately, it hit the portal at the last moment, the last possible moment. Uh, do I have... Yeah, I do have a... a uh, what do you call it? A flint and steel. Yeah, to relight it. Yeah, I should have one. That's why you always keep a flint and steel on you. Perfect. <laughs> so, yeah, perfect. Um, yeah, and so I think this area is a decent area to use for this. Let me make sure this is my silk touch pick. Yeah, this is. Fantastic. Let's grab this. 
So I think this is a good area to quarry out some netherrack because it's kind of flat. There's not a whole lot of structure out here. And yeah, I can always come back to the same spot to mine out even more netherrack. So I'm thinking like right here, this area here would be somewhat decent to use as a quarry because it's not really like, there's not really an overhang here. It's all like solid netherrack as far as I can tell for a fair distance downward. So you can see, yeah, there's netherrack underneath of this instead of like this being like an island, like a floating island. So for those reasons, I think this will be a great spot to mine this nether rack. Now we're gonna have to mine a lot of it though, is the only thing, because to make a single chest of nether bricks, we're gonna need eight shulker boxes full of nether rack. So yeah, it's quite a expensive block, I would say, but I think we can handle it. And we also wanna get some extra nether bricks for the uh, the red nether bricks that we can sell at the uh, the bricklayer shop. So we'll have to mine out quite a fair bit of nether rack here, but I'm up to it, so let's go ahead and get started. You serious? Oh, come on, man. Oh, man. Jeez. Jeez. That. Okay. Well, you guys know what to do. You guys know what to do. I think it was inevitable that we were hit by the LMFAO potion, as I think we're the only one who uses the Dolphin Superhighway consistently. Uh, I think some people don't even know it's there still, which is kind of surprising, because it's actually faster than flying with the Elytra. But guys, we have, in the meantime, repaired our tools. They've broken again now, so I have to go repair them once more. And we've dug out a sizable area here, so you can see this large area of netherrack has now been taken out. And so we got, I think, about 10 stacks or so of the nether rack so that's fantastic let's go ahead and put this nether rack shulker box right in there there's another one we'll put in there and i think we got enough now to make a single double chest of nether rack plus a little bit extra with the red nether brick so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and head on back now we'll walk back we got to repair our tools and then we can start to uh, go to the end and mine some end stone Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the end. We're on a nice big island here. We have a uh, end gateway portal up here, right there, as you can see. And what we're going to do here, we're going to put down a beacon. I'm going to grab a beacon, and I think I have enough iron to make a full beacon here. Because that should help us mine out the end stone a little bit quicker. I'm also going to gather a bunch of the chorus fruit here, just by getting rid of a lot of these plants around here because we can actually smelt up these coarse fruit into popped coarse fruit and then make some purple bricks. So that's another brick we can sell that is somewhat rare and I think people might want to buy some for one reason or another. So we'll get some of those. We also want to seize the means of production as well and get some of these coarse fruit flowers off of some of these. So we can actually set up a coarse fruit farm in Concord potentially in the future. So I think we'll go ahead and just gather some of these plants here set up the beacon, and then start to mine some endstone. Alright guys, so we're back from the end now. We got ourselves 2754 stacks of endstone, which should be enough to make uh, 54 stacks of endstone bricks as well. So we'll just plop those in there along with the nether rack and the clay. So those things are all ready to be smelted up. We'll also need to go and get a little bit more of the coarse fruit. So we'll do that as well. But right now, guys, what we're going to do is we're going to head on over to the shopping district. And we're going to try and find a good location for our shop. To put the, the bricklayer shop. To actually build it. So I'll meet you guys over at the shopping district in just one second. Alright guys, welcome to the shopping district. So there's a couple of options we have for this shop. I would like to put it maybe on this main, this main island. Let's land on top of the uh, 
the giant pickle up here. I like to put it on this main island because this is sort of where stuff is happening right now. Uh, over on this island, this is also the shopping district uh, we've decided here since we're almost out of space here. Um, so we could also make it over there, over here. Uh, Scar and I have already uh, cordoned off this area because we've already decided what we're going to build here. So that's another shop coming soon. A lot of shops coming soon for us at Concorp. Uh, but we need to find a shop for the bricklayers today. So let's see where we want to go. We could go over here. There's quite a lot of, quite a lot of room over here. This, so this whole space over here is an option. Let's see if there's any place on the main island. So like right down there would be an option for us. It's a little bit sort of sort of down, <coughs> excuse me, sort of down in the in the valley here though. Although Joe's shop will be getting some action soon since this is like an October shop. So it might be you, you, might be worthwhile to locate it around that. So I think I found my location for the shop now guys. We're going to put it right here. Uh, on the other side of this bridge, which actually is a fairly nice bridge. Uh, I'm not quite certain who made this yet, but I do want to find out because it's quite nice. Um, as you can see when we walk across it. So that's one good thing about this location. And I'm sure there's going to be a whole bunch more shops show up over here throughout the, the course of the season. And then we also have a portal nearby. So the portal is going to be uh, basically right next to our shop, which will be like right in this area. So it's going to be kind of a small shop. Uh, I have to decide what materials I want to make it out of. Probably would make sense to make it out of some type of brick. But we'll have to, uh, we'll have to see about that. So, let me go ahead and I will get some materials together and we'll make this shop. So guys, we're back once again at Concorp. And now it's time to get on inside the smelter here. And we're going to smelt up all of the clay we have and all of the nether rack we have as well. So let's go ahead and just get on in here. Got to make sure to line ourselves up, and we're going to go ahead and just toss in all these stacks of clay. So there we go. Toss them all in there, just one after the other. And then once we get all these thrown in, we'll just step off. Watch them all go up and out, and then we just wait. So, <laughs> yeah, the frame rates do take a little bit of a hit when this thing is running, but... Yeah, it's well worth it because we get all this stuff super, super quickly. And then, you know what I should do? I should have a crafting bench that's actually a little bit closer than this one over here. So let's put one, let's say, there. Yes, yeah, so then as they're coming in, we just go right in here. Bricks, there we go. More bricks, there we go. And yeah, life is, life is good. Life is good when that happens, so... <laughs> Yeah, we'll let these things all roll in. There's some more bricks coming in. Perfect. And yeah, once all these get in here, we should have enough to make our shop. So yeah, I'm going to wait here till these things stop coming in, and we'll have to then smelt up some nether rack. Alright guys, so we went ahead and we smelted up a bunch of stuff, so we got a whole bunch of bricks, we got a whole bunch of nether bricks, and more nether bricks, and more bricks, and more bricks, and just some regular nether brick to make some red nether brick, uh, and then a little bit more nether bricks here. So, yeah, that is super awesome. This would have taken a very, very long time to smelt up all these nether bricks, because each one of these is four of these nether bricks, so... Yeah, that would have taken a very long time to smelt up with a traditional smelter, but we got it done in a few minutes with the mega smelter over there at Concorp, so that's fantastic. And now we're ready to start building this thing. I also have some dark oak logs, which we're going to use in this build. Uh, so that that should, yeah, that should probably be enough uh, dark oak logs. If not, we have a whole bunch sitting over there at Concorp at the tree farm. And I think the first thing we need to do is just flatten out this area, and then we'll get like the basic shape of the shop uh, sort of outline here. So let me get going on that and I'll be back. All right, guys. So we now have cleared out a sizable area for our shop here. So you can see we have four pillars up on the sides here, which are marking out the corners of the shop. Now I'm trying to think of like how, 
this portal is going to be integrated into this area, and I think it could be cool if, after we get the shop done, we come through with, like, a tunnel that went under underground right here. Like, we, we continue this mountain down here, perhaps, to the back of our shop. And we have the tunnel sort of lead people right through our shop, out this way, and then back to the bridge area over here and connect it up to the, uh, the other paths. And then we also might have the tunnel uh, come down this way and then, like, out here through this this mountain right here and sort of connect up over here to what I presume is going to be the main pathway like right through here through this region so that's sort of what I'm thinking of long term here uh, but for now yeah we got the corners of our shop up we got the whole area cleared out and now let's go ahead and build it progress is being made ladies and gentlemen so we got the outline of the structure done so this is going to be like the outer shell of the structure and then this is going to be the interior here. And of course we have some bricks down because, yeah, we need bricks in a brick shop for sure. <laughs> uh, we also have the chests sort of laid out. So we're going to have eight chests in total. I have decided that we are going to sell all the different types of bricks. So that includes stone bricks and chiseled stone bricks and mossy stone bricks. As well as nether brick, regular bricks, and the uh, red nether bricks. So, yeah, I think there's seven types of stone bricks in all. Uh, seven types of bricks in all, rather. And so we'll have an extra chest uh, for one of the items. So that'll be great. And I think on the sides here, just sort of thinking like what else we could do with this. On the sides here, I think I'm going to have some nether brick on the sides. Maybe something like this going up. Uh, we want to add some depth though. So maybe we get some nether brick stairs in here. And then we can make something like, like this. And then it goes up like that. And we could also potentially get some greenery in here because the green and leaves and such go really well with the uh, the brick. And maybe we could hide some lighting underneath the leaves we put here. Yeah, that would be cool. That would be really cool. Uh, as for the roof, I think I'm going to go with some nether brick and regular bricks, some type of combination there. Uh, I don't want to make it like a, like a really tall roof, so it's going to be somewhat flat. And it would be nice to have some natural lighting in here, like from the, uh, from the sky. So we'll probably have like some, uh, some glass or something up there. Uh, in the sky. So that's the plan right now. I think this is looking pretty good. We also want to get some leaves and stuff on the outside for sure. So I'll keep working on this and I'll be right back. Ladies and gentlemen, we now have the shop complete. So here it is, the brick layers presented by Concorp. And of course the brick layers for all your brick building needs. No doubt about it. So that is the building right there, totally complete. We also decorated around the side a little bit. We got some sugarcane up here. We got some leaves down here. We got some coarse dirt down here. Of course, we got the torches down here as well. I also made a little bit of a path from this portal with some uh, some brick half slabs here to sort of lead the player over into the bricklayer's shop, presented by Concorp, of course. And here's what the inside is looking like here. So, yeah, we got some jungle leaves down. We got some lighting under the floor here. We got some gray carpets, which add a nice little accent. We got the nether bricks going around the inside uh, top portion. Of course, we got this blue. Uh, sort of simulating like a blue sky above us here with the blue glass. We also got cake in here. Very important that we have cake in here. Critically important. And of course we also have an ender chest and a crafting table in here. Just in case somebody would need one of those two things. I don't know about you guys, but I can't stand shops that don't have ender chests. Um, it's one of my one of my pet peeves. It's like it's like a cardinal sin not to have a uh, not to have an ender chest in your shop. Because how are people supposed to get their diamonds? Like I got my diamonds right here. If I can't access those, like, what's the point of even building the shop? Honestly, jeez. Um, yeah, we also dug, uh, we also, um, yeah, dug the ground up here a little bit. We got some coarse dirt and stuff down here. I tried to decorate this lake a little bit as well. Uh, we'll probably revisit this area once we do the shop up there that Scar and I have planned in the future. And yeah, we just did a little bit more terraforming here, a little bit of pathway work here. I didn't want to go too far, get too crazy with the pathway because I'm not sure. If Isuma is planning on this being like the pathway for the shopping district because it goes all around his area around his turtle shop right here this one but then it sort of like stops once you get past this area so like it right here it just changes totally and then it goes back to normal pathway so I'm not sure if this is gonna be something that Isuma continues or if he's done with this if it's just for this section uh, so I didn't want to go too crazy with the pathways, so I just made the uh, the regular default pathways uh, over on the far side of the shop. But overall, I think it's a pretty good design. Uh, if we get up top, you can see what the, the roof looks like a little bit. 
So there you go. Yeah, we got some torches on the roof. That should prevent spawning anywhere on the roof. And here's a little bit more of a close-up viewpoint. And of course you can look down into it as well. So yeah, I think the bricklayer shop is looking pretty nice here. We also went with some jungle wood, some stripped jungle wood here. That's what that is, which I think works nicely with the brick. So overall, I'm pretty happy with it. Pretty happy with it. Uh, we got some paintings on the side here as well. And yeah, I think it turned out quite nicely. Now it's time though, guys, to move in the products, to move in the actual bricks. So we have to uh, get some paper. We have to get some sugar cane, which I got right here, actually. So let's get in here make some paper. We're also going to have to name these to set some of the prices. There we go. That should work. And let's just go ahead and move it in, move all this stuff in. So we got, let's see, where are we going? Right here. This one, end stone. Let me just uh, quickly dump off some stuff here that I don't really need. Namely, almost all this stuff in here. So there we go. All right. That's going to have to do. So let's go ahead and just move all this stuff over. And we're going to have to set prices for all these things. So let's just go ahead and yeah, move this in. We're also going to need to go back out to the smelter and smelt up some stone bricks, some mossy stone bricks, and some cracked stone bricks and everything. Here comes somebody. Let's try and shoot him as it goes by. It's green. <laughs> Say hey to him. There we go. But yeah, we'll go ahead and just move all this stuff over, move all this uh, these bricks over and everything. And, uh, yeah, once we're done with that, I'll be back and we'll take a look at the prices. All right, guys, we got the prices for the Bricklayer's Shop finalized. And let's just go ahead and take a look at the stock we got. So, first of all, we got some nether bricks. We got two stacks for one diamond for nether bricks. I think that's pretty reasonable because you got to go to the nether to mine it. You got to then smelt it all up. And, yeah, I think I could see somebody coming in here and dropping, like, five diamonds for ten stacks if they needed a bunch of nether brick. Uh, for the stone bricks, this is our cheapest product. We got one diamond for four stacks here. So, yeah, I'm not expecting too many people to buy this because it's pretty easy to get yourself if you have silk touch. But, yeah, that's the uh, the price there. Next one, end stone bricks. We have one diamond for two stacks because, again, you have to go to the end, and it takes quite a, mile, uh, quite a while to mine end stone. Uh, so that's one diamond for two stacks. Same price for the bricks, one diamond for two stacks, which is a pretty good price on bricks, considering you have to go to the swamp biome to get clay balls for that. Next we have mossy stone bricks. This one is one of the more expensive items, one diamond per stack, uh, just because you have to mine vines for each and every block. Uh, so you have to, you know, get iron and craft up shears and then go find, you know, a jungle or something. And so, yeah, this is actually a pretty expensive block to craft up. Uh, as you can tell, we don't have too many of them right now, but we will get more soon. But that's one diamond per stack. Crack stone bricks. Uh, these are a little bit easier. You do have to smelt these up, though. So that's, uh, this is double the price of these stone bricks. Of course, double the price because we smelt it twice. So we smelt it once to turn it into stone, craft it up, and then smelt it into crack stone bricks. So that's one diamond for two stacks. Red nether bricks. Red nether bricks are crazy expensive. So we put this at one diamond per one stack because you need nether wart. Actually, two nether warts and two nether brick for each each block. So this might actually be too cheap. <laughs> we might actually have to raise the prices depending on how much uh, we sell of that. And then we have the chiseled stone brick. I don't have too many of these in here. This is one diamond for three stacks. Although, uh, since it's just basically uh, crafted stone bricks, we might drop the price on this once we get more in stock. So those are the prices as it currently stands at the bricklayer shop guys and yeah i'm pretty happy with how this whole thing turned out so anyways guys with the bricklayer shop now complete i think we gotta pack all this stuff up all these shulker boxes of stuff up and yeah head on back to concord because we gotta get ready to build the next shop in the next episode so anyways guys for now that's gonna be it for me today please leave a like on this video if you enjoyed make sure to subscribe for more videos like this and as always guys thanks so much for watching this has been cub goodbye